big family. I was the oldest of nine kids. Uh, unfortunately, uh, my mother died half of the ninth, and my father was in a VA hospital, so I stayed home in Antarctica, and I raised uh, my brothers. I had a sister that, I had one sister. Uh, she was number six, and my mother thought she was on a hot streak, but we had a couple more. Uh, <laughs> but uh, I, was, I knew responsibility at a relatively young age. I take responsibility serious. I take doing things ser uh, you know, doing things differently serious. I mean, I had to fight to keep everybody together. I was 19 years old, and you know, have 19-year-old kids raising five kids. Uh, but we did it. Everybody's gone to college. Everybody's done well. Uh, but that's what I'm made of, and that's what I like to do. Uh, I can promise you that if I was the state senator from this district, you would see me, you would know me, you would know what I'm doing, I would be visible, I would not be afraid to do things differently, I would not be afraid to challenge the status quo, I would do what's best for the state of Connecticut and what's best for this region. It's a different, <coughs> unique region, it's a fun region. I had a, I mean, here I am last night, I was supposed to go to West Hartford tonight, last three, and I, I have several, many delegates. Uh, uh, I was hoping to get 500, and I probably would get my 500. Most of them from the greater Hartford region would be Lieutenant Governor. And uh, this is what I want to do. I ran for this once before. This is home. Glastonbury, Bolton. Marlboro is new to me. Marlboro is new to me. Uh, I know that I can work in Marlboro like I did. I have everywhere else in the past. Uh, but this is something that means something to me. It always has. I wanted to run again. I, I think I got burned out when I when I got beat the last time. So I, I won 17 times. I lost once. This was the one I lost uh, in, in uh, you know, the Reagan landslide. And, uh, uh, and I wanted to come back and do it. We have good candidates running for it, so uh, it made sense. So I'm asking for your support. I think I can get Manchester support. I hope I can get support throughout the district. Uh, because I'm excited about this. Uh, I didn't even know it existed yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, most of the people who read The Citizen today also know that Chip Beckett has declared for his second run of this seat. He was defeated by Marianne Hamley and... Um, he sits on Krog and uh, I know Chip and... Uh, uh, sorry, Chip. <laughs> 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 Not a question, just a statement. I've known Steve a very long time. Steve, thank you for running. I can't think of anyone. I'd rather have the state senate representing me, my town, and Steve Pisano. Anybody want? Anybody who doesn't know Steve would like to know more about him. He's very modest, very <coughs> modest, but he's been a leader, a true leader in this region for all the time I've known him. I've probably known him 25 years. So thank you. And Boy, you got my support. I'm not a delegate, but you got my support. <laughs> I'd like to echo uh, the younger Bobby D. <laughs> We're required to sit at the same table. Yes, we are. <laughs> um, Bobby D. Too. Uh, for the comments on uh, Steve, uh, of you, but would you please tell uh, the folks about your days as a professor? Yes. Uh, I think they'd like to hear that. I, was, I went to MCC. Uh, I went to MCC at night. I, went to, I, I was working at A&P in Nantucket. I came here, I transferred to here. Uh, I don't tell many people I came here because I was going with this girl for two years. I was here a month and she loved me, so that was the end of that. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I had to make a choice. So I said, I'm going to stay here. And I enrolled in Manchester Community College. I, uh, as president of student senate, I was doing all kinds of things. I loved it. And I said to Fred Lowe, the president at the time, I said, Dr. Lowe, I want to come back and teach. Sure, kid. No problem, you know, every president's going to tell me. I went to Boston the next year. I did my junior and senior year of one year. In fact, I took the subway down to BU to get other courses in. And then I got my master's in a year. So I was back in 1970, two years after I got my associates at Manchester, and I was teaching. And of course, they, I didn't have experience, but they were able to say, look, see this? You can get a master's degree if you can go to the community college. And so I was the display. So <laughs> it was a little difficult in the beginning, but I loved it. And I started the alumni association, the older adults program, uh, uh, several programs, the internship programs, the uh, voluntary action program. Uh, I taught for 28 years in sociology uh, and many students from Glastonbury. Uh, you know, I've always said there were two great things that this country did in public education. Number one, requiring everybody to go to school. 
think about what that did. I still say the reason we won World War II is because all of our children went to school and they had enough education to do other kinds of things, male or female, to be able to work in the factories, to, 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 to be soldiers, to be all the things that were necessary. And the second thing was to establish the community college system because it gave everybody an opportunity. The community college is the best cross-section education in America today. I had students from the wealthiest families and the poorest families in the same classrooms who related to each other one-on-one. -on -one. It was a fascinating thing. I loved it for 28 years. And I'd still be there, except there was a, it was a state program, and the state came up with, I was going to go from 5% to 20%. My insurance, uh, there were a bunch of, when I'm taking home more money to re be retired than I am teaching, I retired. So I've been retired, supposedly, uh, <laughs> since 1997. And uh, I have still been, I, I became a full-time mayor with a pop time. I've made $3,000 a year as the mayor of Manchester, and I worked about 50 hours a week. And in uh, 2005, my wife says, you know, credit cards are getting higher. We can't afford to do this anymore. <laughs> you got to get a job or something. So I did. And uh, I, I stopped being mayor, but uh, I have still worked with Krog. I've worked with the region. I still want, I, I have run for a selectman's position, which is a non-policy position, but I'm still an elected official. Uh, and so I was able to work with Krog, work with uh, different groups. Uh, I'm on the National Homeland Security uh, subcommittee of the British uh, uh, Communications uh, uh, response. And it's, it's been wonderful to be able to come back. Particularly the state can't go to the <coughs> because they have freeze on travel, they don't know what's going on. So all the great requirements, everything else, they can bring that stuff back. So I've been very, very active, and, uh, and I see faces around. I see Jim Lynch was working on my campaign back in the 1980s, and I see a couple of others. I know Pat was the, at Lowe's here at that time, and several others. Uh, uh, I know you were here at that time. Yeah, it was, uh, it was, it was a fun time. I kind of look forward to doing that again, and, and, and meeting new faces and trying to do it again. Well, we look forward to you being part of Glossberry, and again, we thank you for stepping up, and uh, we'll see you on the 24th right. of May. Gary Glossberry. <laughs>